Hey everybody, Mike Wolford here from The Dude's Kitchen and today in this episode we're reaching way back into my childhood, back to about 1972, 73, 74. We were living in a town called Cheney, Washington, which is about 20 miles south of Spokane and we were poor. If you were to look up poor in the dictionary, it would have had a picture of us in there. I mean, my dad was getting his, his bachelor's in physics and my mom was a nurse and I had a brother and sister and we had some crazy meals like, I will never forget the tuna casserole with peas. Horrible meal, horrible. Uh, we ate a lot of rice and broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, all these things as a kid that I did not like. Kind of tempered that a little bit as an adult, but one of my favorite meals though that we ever had was called hamburger steak and gravy. And I'm gonna recreate it here and I'm just gonna add just a little bit of a, my own twist to it, so let's get to doing it. Before we do that though, got another sticker. And this time it comes from Behind the Garage Barbecue, my buddy Craig. I'll put a link up here, not right there, and I'll put a link below. You've seen me call out his page before on Facebook. The great guy, and we're gonna put it up here on the Fridge of Fame. Okay, like I said, my buddy Craig sent us this. I'm gonna put it right up there. I think it looks good right there. All right, check it out. That looks really good. I wanna thank Craig for sending that to me. If you guys want to get your sticker up here on the Fridge of Fame, please send me an email and I would love to have your guys' sticker up here. What I love to do also is just do a call out to the smaller channels such as myself, Craig, Ryan G, Barbecue Pit Dog, Pickles. I love to do that. I'd love to do a call out for them. So anyhow, there you have it. Thanks a lot, Craig. Really the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to take some butter. And I'm going to cut it into about a third. And I'm just going to take this third and drop it into the pan I've got going over here. Good old cast iron pan. Just trying to heat it up a little bit. Drop it in. We're going to let it melt. But while we're letting it melt, we're going to take our hamburger. What we're going to do is we're going to add some ingredients to it. We're going to make four nice patties out of it. Just put it in this bowl, get it all kind of mixed up like so. What I'm going to do is take an egg, crack it in there like so, mix everything up. Lots of gooey fun, guys. The next thing I got, I have a quarter of a cup of panko breadcrumbs, but I'm not going to use a quarter of a cup. I'll have enough, of, you know, that I can add to it if it gets, if it's too runny. You can always take, add to it too if it's not enough. What I'm going to do is I've got one teaspoon of garlic powder. And mix it up. Next thing I got is one teaspoon of granulated onion. I've got one teaspoon of War Who's Your Sister Sauce or Worcestershire Sauce, whatever it's called. Mix that up in here. And about an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. Mix it all up in there real good. The 
next thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make a ball. All right? And I'm going to smash the meat down. You know what I'm talking about, Chris, right? My buddy Chris over at Eastwood Farms. You gotta check his channel out. Make a ball. Smash it down. Throw it into the butter. It's melted in our pan. I'm gonna do it again. Smash our meat down, Chris. Throw it in there. Now you're like, dude, you've got extra. Yeah, I do. What I'm gonna do with this, so I'm just gonna put it off to the side and let it cook on its own. Because we're gonna have enough gravy to just take care of this anyways. The reason why we put the, the patties into the pan is because we want to have that the grease and the, the extras from the hamburger patties to make our gravy. So anyhow guys, I'm going to go wash my hands and we'll be right back. Our hamburgers are coming along. What I am going to do is I'm going to add, Uncle Steve has a new product out called sweet and spicier and I've had this thing on just about everything serious I've even had it on salad popcorn it's good stuff I'm gonna shake it over these here burgers a little bit more in there I'm gonna let it work its magic now you've all seen a hamburger cook up I'm not gonna show you that I'm not gonna bore you with that but these things are going to town and as soon as they're done then we'll start on the gravy and we'll be right back You guys know what time it is though. It's another Zoe moment. Zoe, what is Zoe up to? Zoe, what are you doing? You waiting for a burger? Huh? Are you waiting for a burger? All right, there you go, I said. There you have it, guys. Your Zoe moment. You really should smell this, guys. This is absolutely amazing. With that said, I'm going to take one of the other burgers and throw it in here as well. And that's just going to give us just a little bit more stuff that we can work with when it comes to making the gravy. During the break, I cut up some onions. And we've all seen that before, and I didn't want to bore you with that. And I did put the lid on the cast iron pan. And I checked these out, and they're hitting at 140 right now. So it's time to remove them. So I'm going to just put these off to the side for now. And then we're going to start building our gravy. And I'm going to show you here. So as you can see, we have all this goodness in here, right here, right? That's just the drippings and some butter and just kind of the drippings and fat from the hamburger. I'm going to throw about half of our onions in here. Maybe a little more. I'm going to cut up some mushrooms real quick. Kind of throw them in there. a wooden spoon because you know me I do like wooden spoons especially when it comes to cast iron and we're just gonna cook this down until the onions become translucent so I'm gonna put the lid back on and then we'll be right back time to check what we got going on underneath this dome that's looking good oh my goodness the smell mmm next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some chicken broth 
okay? We're gonna need a cup of it. And I happen to know that these are a half a cup. Pour it in. There's two. Mix this up really good because I'm trying to get the, the drippings from the bottom into this as well. That's just pure flavor. We're going to let this come up to heat and then we're going to finish off the gravy. I just tested this and I know that it's ready. So now it's time to just start adding some flour into it. I have a half a cup of flour here, but I don't think I'm going to need that much. I'm going to use a fork this time because I want the, the fork to be able to get in there and just kind of mess with the flour a little bit and so it's not chunky. As you can see it's already starting to come together. It's got some great consistency already. I'm going to throw a little bit more of Uncle Steve's sweet and spicy in there as well. It gives us our salt as well. Turn this down. At this point we're going to start adding our hamburgers back in here. put this fifth one right on top there. I'm gonna cover it. And now these things are on low heat at this point so we're gonna give them about five minutes and then pull them out. All right guys time is up. Uh, no pun intended. I'm gonna take one of these burgers. some of our sauce here, add it to the top, Maybe a little sprig wow, of thyme, look, like, look at that, <laughs> just time to try this out, but I want to show you one more time, this is amazing, I, if you could smell it, like with the Uncle Steve shake, everything in it, it, it just comes together. Tons of flavor, guys. Oh my goodness. There's so many different flavors going on with this. You get the hamburger, you get a little bit of the Uncle Steve shake, the sweet and spicy. Yum. Get the onions, the mushrooms, everything, guys. This just comes together. It really does. It's one of those times that I'm just going to eat the whole thing. Who knew that something from the 70s could taste so good? Mmm. All right, guys, there you have it. Hamburger steak with gravy. It's right out of the 70s, guys. It's so good. Please remember to check out my buddy Craig over at Behind the Garage Barbecue. Like I said, his link's down below. Great guy. Love talking with him. Please remember to like, subscribe, ring that dinner bell, as my buddy Rob would say. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff. You know we dig it. Thanks everybody for watching. Steve the camera guy and I really do appreciate it. Remember, the dude abides this time with hamburger steak and gravy right out of the 70s. Talk to you later guys.